<laughs> welcome in, welcome in to We Gonna Figure It Out. Huh! You know what I think would make that better? What? You talk to them real quick. I'm gonna figure it out. Alright. I'm always gonna figure it out. Oh! Okay, so... Y'all saw the title of the show. It's called The Birthday Show. And that is because my birthday is in two days, right? Is it? Yeah, I think so. Look at that. Days. Boom. There we go. I'm not going to You should play the it. We Gonna Figure It Out. I have no idea how to play this. Play We Gonna Figure It Out. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Come I can't. On. No, I got lipstick on. I don't want to get it off. Hey, Brian. So... It's Regina's birthday tomorrow, so or Wednesday. Wednesday. So I got her that for her birthday because she likes music. I do, so I'm gonna learn how to play this. Cornet. It's a cornet. 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 Yeah. Cornet. The, the man at the store kept saying net, but if you want to say cornet, I'm fine with what that. What is it, cornet? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> why are you pointing at it? Oh, okay. This is nice. I I'm gonna teach myself how to play it. Alright, so. But I'm not going to play the, the We Gonna Figure It Out song. Alright, so for your birthday, what is exactly, what is exactly, the reason why we're doing a show about birthdays is because it made me start thinking about how sometimes when individuals, uh, when individuals grow up, or like as they're growing up, we always make these goals. And we'll say by a certain age. You want to be doing this. You want to be that. doing that. So. And sometimes we don't hit those goals, and it's hard to process life when you're like, "Well, I was supposed to be a millionaire before I was 40, right? Or I was supposed to, Rachel. I was supposed to do this, that, or another before I hit this age." So for me, I it made me kind of think about the birth, like that's why I said the birthday show, because how do you deal with when you don't, when you're not a millionaire by 30, or when you're not, like you don't own a car, you're not married by that certain age, or all those different goals that you set. Like, how do you revive? Like, how do you regroup? What are some of the goals? I mean, that... I think you just have to create new goals. Yeah. I mean, because the, some maybe the goals that you set were unrealistic. Right. But some, <laughs> go, some goals are I mean, simple. Like, some people say, I want to be married by 30. Is that an unrealistic goal? Not necessarily. I don't think that is. But, I mean, that to me is out of your control. Right. You can't yeah. control that. That's That's God's timing. And so, yeah. Or people force things too. I mean, it just. But if you want to be happy, truly happy, then that's that's an out of control, out of your control type of goal. So I got you this gift, but that was one of the things that, like, for me, when me and you first met, this was one of the things we always talked about: wanting to learn how to play a, an instrument, mm -hmm. uh, especially one like this. Yes. So I still want to hold out for a pocket trumpet. That's yes. what I want to learn how to play. <laughs> but outside of that, it's sort of like doing the little bitty things that you didn't think of to help you feel a little bit better when you don't hit the big goals. So, yes. it's Hi, God, Mommy. We're good. How you uh, doing? So, I'm thinking from my standpoint, it's pretty hard. The idea of, like right now, we could be millionaires by the time we're 40. That wasn't a goal of mine, by the way. But... You know, let's just say, but when I was younger, I really thought that we would be, I would be in a place in life where I could say I was wealthy, maybe not a millionaire, but I would have not even, you know, like I would be in a pretty good shape, in pretty good shape by 40. Yeah. And so sitting here at 35, I'm kind of sitting there thinking like, <laughs> man, it might even be time for me to restart and think some things through in a whole different way. And so the idea of obtaining great wealth by 40 or, or being comfortable by 40 is a scary premise. Like, if I stay comfortable and I stay put where I'm at now, I'll be okay. Yeah. But I won't be really at the goal that I wanted, but I won't be as far away as if I was just to up and try to pursue something bigger. Right. So it puts you but in I a think, scary place. Yeah, but, you know, it, I think you just have to keep pushing yourself to just become better and better each year. I think that's a realistic goal. Yeah. You know, like every year challenge yourself to do something that's like attainable. Where before you turn 30, right? Mhm. Mm what were your goals? Yeah, you eyelash. About to go in. Um Okay. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I think my goals were just uh realistically, what were your goals? My realistic goals were 
No, you like, know, what were they? Like, that's don't what lie I'm saying. about them. Like, no, I'm just my saying. realistic goals were just to be complete with college and have a career. That's all you wanted by 30. Mm-hmm. That was it. That you was, was it. a simple little kid. Simple. That's it. I'm still simple. Uh, so, what is Sean say? It won't play. It won't play for her. Oh, wow. I don't know what that means. I don't either. I guess the show's not working. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Mm. So by forty, by f- but you know I, t- I always told myself that if I didn't have kids by thirty, that I wasn't having any. Okay. And I had Braden by twenty seven. Right there, I caught you right there at the border. <laughs> you, you thought you was on. I was like, gotcha. <laughs> Grabbed you by the leg. You did. you did because that was my thought. You know, I was like, if I don't have any kids by the time I'm thirty, that's a done deal. Good. All right. But, so that that worked out. That was one of my goals, I guess. So uh, what goals have, and you've accomplished the career and the school goal. You know, you still, you're adding to it. You revised yeah. it. But so by 40, what were your goals like though? Because I know you say you didn't want, if you didn't have kids, you wouldn't. But what were your goals by 40? My, uh, you know, I, I just had a goal to be out of the state of Oklahoma. Which we can still do by 40. Yes. Yes. But that was, that was just a, a goal, it didn't really have a timeline on it. Uh-huh. You know, I just wanted to be out of the state of Oklahoma. So, that's still an attainable goal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, all right. what about your goals? I, I, well, I think by 30, I think I, I really, I wanted to be, I wanted to have at least written articles that were, I, I wanted to at least been a published writer and, from the standpoint of like a critic. Like, I had wanted to Ooh. critique albums. Um, I wanted to have had, by 30, I wanted to have had uh, a syndicated radio show. And I wanted, by 30, to uh, not so much be rich, but be on a path to where I knew if something was coming. I wanted to be working hard in my dreams. So when I hit 30, um, God was really doing something different in my life, and he was getting me prepared for, you know, a life of ministry. Right. And so things have kind of changed. So last year, hitting 35, it was like, okay, but what's next? Yeah. Am I going to write the book? Am I going to write a book? Am I going to give up on my dreams? Like, you know, some of the dreams that I've had and I've hidden away. Because I also knew that I wanted to have, like, a photo essay published by, by 40. Like, I wanted to be able to be in a position where I could teach, uh, you know, communication. Like, I wanted to be able to teach journalism of, uh, by 40. Mm-hmm. I still want, you know, I want to be able to do those things where I believe I could teach an individual how to do radio or television or those type of things. They kind of come, nat- the communication things, they come natural to me. Right. So, those were the goals that I set by 40, and I still want to kind of Everybody's saying those. it's not allowing them to watch. Aww. Uh, all right, we'll start over then. Or right, we'll just do it again some other day. Oh, that's so upsetting. Yeah. Can we fit? Maybe, maybe it's just, I don't know, because, you know, Sharon said the same thing. So do you think it's something on our end? Probably. Really? Yeah. If it was just raining outside and everything, it could be. Internet's messed up. Okay. Rain and internet don't sound like it makes sense to it. We'll come back to this show some other time. Hmm. Sucks, don't it? Yeah, it does. Hi. Bye.